So I went to Reddit and I realized between two of my browsers, two of my accounts, I see here, I see regular rounded buttons. And here I see these new circular rounded buttons. I suppose Reddit is doing some A-B testing or something. It really confused me. I was like, what? No way they changed their styles while I make this series cloning the site. Anyway, so I'm going to close this. All right, so in this one, we're going to work on this page, which is the single post page. When I create this, uh, actually, no, this sidebar is already created. We did this uh, in the last video. And we're going to create this section, which is very similar to the uh, card, but with very small differences. So unfortunately, it's not fully reusable, but we're probably going to copy some code. But uh, one thing I wanted to add is, um, actually, when we go to like a page that doesn't exist, we get this default 404 page but we can actually create a custom 404 page. So I want to show you how to do that. So let's go back to VS Code. Uh, so let's go to client, uh, source and pages. And here we can create a new file. Just call it 404.tsx. Okay, I misclicked. So 404.tsx. And here we can do underscore RFC and hit tab. We can just call this uh, not found. And here we can literally, uh, actually let me make the code bigger. I'm going to do a div and give it a class, uh, class name of flex, flex column or flex call and items center, center. So here we're going to have, let's put a header one dot. Let's give it some margin on the top. So empty dash uh, 10 and let's give it some margin on the bottom MB dash four. Let's make it massive. So text uh, dash X, oh, actually no five XL and let's give it text gray. 800 because I found like when the text is massive and it's black is a bit too jarring and it stands out too much So here we're just gonna say page not found I'm not gonna put too much content here I'm just showing you how to do it and you can customize it as much as you want So here let's put a link to bring us back to the home page. So say href uh, slash and Let's give it some actually no we have to give the anchor tag inside it some styling so here do an anchor tag dot px dash four to have some padding on the uh, right and left and py-2 and dot blue dot button and this will say uh, no href and this will say home and we need to import the link so import link from next link and save let's go back to uh, chrome refresh there we go so we get this page not found and this home link every time we go to a page that does not exist lovely now that's different from this page, by the way, where we go to slash r slash, and then we give a name of a subreddit that does not exist. That's different. You can handle that if you want, but that actually does not go to the 404 that goes to this uh, page because that's a wildcard. Whatever you type there, that's still considered by next as a uh, quote unquote valid page, even though the data itself is not found on the server. So if you want to handle that, you can do that. I want to finish off the uh, single post endpoint. So go to posts in our routes uh, folder and scroll down. So it's this here, get post. So here I want to add the votes so that it uh, counts the votes and gives us the vote score. And I also, let's go down, let's add the user middleware so that if the user is logged in, we're, we can fetch their vote and add it to the post. So here we'll do our check if rec, uh, not rec, res dot locals.user, then we're going to say post.set user vote and we pass it that response.locals.user. All right, save that. Actually, I don't know where I added this in the wrong resolver, my bad, not in the comment. Let's do that uh, here in the get post uh, resolver, I mean, or handler. All right, save this. And now let's create this, uh, this page, this uh, single post page. So if we click on, uh, let's say this one, it takes us to slash r slash uh, reddit, uh, the subreddit, and then the ID, uh, the identifier, and then the slug. So we need to create uh, a file with a folder structure that's similar to this. So let's go to our explorer. I'm going to close everything. So go to client, uh, source pages, and similar to this sub, we're actually inside the r, we're going to create a folder with a wildcard sub because now that needs to be inside of that directory. So now we need identifier and slug as well. So we need to create another folder with a wildcard identifier, identifier, okay, I misspelled that, fire. And inside of there, we're gonna create a file with a wildcard of slug.tsx. 
I keep calling it wildcard, but uh, I don't know where I got that terminology from. It's just a dynamic route. So here I'm going to do underscore RFC and tab. And I'm going to call this uh, just post page. doesn't really matter. Just change it from that wildcard because that's going to error with the square brackets. And here I'm going to use the head element to uh, give the page a title. And I actually realized that uh, you could do this for fragment in Next.js like you could in Gatsby and as well in create react app outside of strict mode. So here let's say head and tab that and import that from next uh, head. And here we're just going to say title. Actually, let's uh, fetch our post first. Let's get the, let's get all of these from the uh, router. So let's say const router equals use router. And here we'll say, actually let's import it. And here we'll say, um, so we need to destructure, oops, destructure identifier sub and slug from router.query. So now that we have those, we can fetch the post. So we can say const data and let's give it a name of post equals use SWR and import that. And we're gonna fetch, so let's do backticks and this will be from slash API slash posts slash and then concatenate the identifier, identifier and slash concatenate the slug of the post. Now, of course, we don't want to fetch this immediately because at the beginning, these are uh, null. So we need to use a condition here. So the condition will be if identifier, identifier and slug. So if uh, they're both uh, not falsy, then let's do a ternary. So we fetch this else we set it to null, which means we don't fetch anything. And also let's get the uh, error from here and let's check for it. So we'll say if error, then I'm just going to re redirect to the home page. So we'll say router dot push and let's push the slash page. All right. Otherwise, we're just going to just show the post. So actually, this needs to be an exp expression in the title. We'll say post dot title. And let's do a question mark here because that could be null. And let's save and let's see if this is working. So let's go. Let's refresh this and this should work now. All right, cool. So we get the title at the top, which means we uh, fetched the post successfully. And if we change this to something that does not exist, it's going to redirect us to the home page. Cool. So now let's populate the page with the content. So first thing is we have this bar at the top with the link back to the uh, subreddit. And this is always blue, I think. I think even if there is a banner, this is not showing. So let's add that. So that whole thing is wrapped in a link. So Let's do a link and this will be a uh, href to let's do an expression. So do backticks slash r slash and concatenate to that sub and let's close this and wrap everything in an anchor tag. Okay, link, we need to import that actually. So here inside of this anchor tag, we're going to have a div with a class of flicks and items center and width of full and height of 20 and height, uh, sorry, padding of eight and BG blue 500. All right, tab that. And inside of here, we'll do dot container dot flex. So here we have to actually fit, um, check for the post. And if we have the post, then we'll have access to the sub that's with it so that we can use this uh, image URL, uh, the image of the sub so that we can show this. So I'll say uh, if post, then let's show the following. So let's wrap this image with a um, class of rounded full to make it circular and give it some margin, actually rounded dash full and give it some margin on the right. So MR dash two and tab that. And here we're going to have a, a next image and here we'll give it a source of post dot sub dot. Okay. Actually the type post does not have the sub. So let's, um, Actually, we're not even telling our code that this is going to be a post. So here in use SWR, let's say that this returns a type of post. Uh, let's import that. And let's also go there and uh, make it so that the post might have a sub. So do sub question mark. And this is of type sub. All right, save that. And then we we'll go back here, separate these uh, imports. So now when we do that sub, we should get autocomplete for uh, sub stuff. Cool. So let's use image URL. And let's give this a height of, 
So I wanted to give it uh, with uh, W8 and H8 with Tailwind CSS. So this will be eight times uh, 16 divided by four. And then repeat this and with in an actual project, I'm gonna calculate this and give it the value, but for now I'm just gonna use this just to show you the logic I'm using. So I close this. Okay, what's the problem? It does not support attributes because it's not have a props property. Oh, I didn't import it. Okay. So let's import from next image, image. All right, so that's cool. And then next to that image, actually this does not need to have the post because this is already supplied to us in the uh, URL. So we'll do a paragraph.text-excel, make it bigger. Actually, let's add uh, as well font, uh, semi-bold and text, oops, text white. And this will be the, uh, so the link to the sub or like what looks to be the link to the sub. So slash R slash, and then concatenate. Uh, actually here I'm inside the thing. So I'll say sub like that. All right, save this and let's take a look at it. So let's go here, refresh. All right, so that looks not quite what I wanted. Oh, actually I forgot to add um, overflow hidden for this. So here, let's say overflow, uh, overflow, hidden. All right. Okay. Maybe that's uh, too big. Oh, actually it's over, over four. I don't know why I did two here. It should be divided by four. All right. That looks much better. I don't know why it's cut at the bottom though. Maybe give the dimensions to the div as well. The, the W eight height eight. Okay. That fixed it. Cool. So that looks like I wanted it to, and this is a link to slash R slash funny. Okay. That looks exactly the same. Cool. All right, let's do the rest. So scroll down. So under this link, I'm going to do another container. Actually, let's give it a class of flex as well. And let's give it some padding on the top. So PT-5. And here we're going to have, so we're going to have the post and we're going to have the sidebar. Let's add the sidebar because that's already, uh, we already did that. We already created it. So let's say sidebar and make sure to import it. Let's pass it the sub, which is the post.sub. And actually this just made me realize we need to check for the post because that can be null at the beginning. So post and, and do that and close that expression. And now for the post, let's do our div dot width of 160, tab that over. So what do we have? We have this, um, this large, like kind of div, this rounded with a background of white. And then we have this left section for vote, for vote stuff, which we're going to copy from the postcard and then this metadata, metadata, and then the post itself and the actions and so on. Oh, of course, we're not gonna create everything in this video because that will take ages. So let's go back and here, uh, let's do our dot bg white dot rounded and tab that. And here uh, we'll check for post. And here we'll say, let's do a div of class of flex. And here we'll say, so this is the voting section, right? So we'll say uh, vote section. Actually, this is almost identical to the vote section from postcard. So let's go and copy that and then work with it, edit it if we need to. So let's go from all the way from here. So this here to here, copy all of that and come over here and paste it in. All right. So we need to, the vote function as well. Let's copy it. I'm not uh, going to outsource this to its own file because the vote function here will be different. You'll see why later. So let's just paste that here and let's import Axios. And actually this value need, uh, we need to say that it's a string. Oh no, actually, sorry, it's a number. And we can do that here as well. So here, number, save. Okay, so that's the vote. And what else do we need? We need class names. Actually, we need some imports from here. I'm gonna take, uh, we, yeah, we need these three. Uh, we need DayJS as well to format the time. And let's take this DayJS.extend call and paste it here and that should be good. Okay, so these come from post. We're not destructuring stuff. So let's uh, select all of them and then uh, add to them post dot. Or maybe we can destruct, or actually it's fine for now. Let's just see if it's working. Save and let's take a look at it. All right, okay, that looks cool. Okay, let's see if I vote. Okay, get 401. Oh, okay, I'm not logged in. Okay, I shouldn't, that shouldn't be the case. So if I'm not logged in and I click on this, that should redirect me to the login page. So let's do that actually. So here, 
let's use the uh, auth auth state. So here let's import from back, actually back a bunch of levels. Uh, so back three levels, actually four levels to context slash auth. And here we need use auth state. And let's put some comments here, local state. Uh, we don't have anything that's local state, but whatever. So this is uh, utils and let's do uh, global state. And here we'll have our, so we need authenticated. I think we just need authenticated. Okay, let's just get authenticated for now. So use auth state, call that as a function. Oops. All right, so now when we click to vote on something, we can check here, we can say if, uh, if not authenticated, then we need to redirect to the home page. Oh, sorry, to the login page. So router.push slash login. All right, save that and let's take a look. All right, so we're not logged in and if I click on this, cool. So we get to the login page and uh, now let's log in. It should redirect us back and it does. And if I vote, cool. So that was successful. Of course, we were not updating the UI yet, but we will soon. And if I refresh, there we go, we get one. And if I uh, downvote, it should be minus one. And if I remove my vote and if refresh, okay, that doesn't work. Oh, we're not handling it actually. Okay, so what we can say here is when we get the value, we can compare it to the, uh, to the existing vote because we have access to that. So if we go past this point, that means we are logged in. That means we have access to the user vote. So let's put some comments here. We can say, if not logged in, go to login. Oops. And here we can say, if vote is the same, reset vote. So what, can we, what we can do is we can say if vote or value rather, which is what we got passed here, equals post dot user vote. And this is okay if we don't have user vote. No, actually we will have user vote because we are authenticated. Okay, ignore me. So if value equals post dot user vote, then we're gonna say value equals zero. That way we're gonna send zero. And you know, we did that in the backend, zero will actually remove that vote. So let's give this a test, uh, save that. And I don't know why I keep refreshing. Everything refreshes on its own. It's, I need to get rid of this habit. <laughs> okay, so we get minus one. And if I click it and we refresh, cool. So we get zero. So it is actually working and it's resetting our vote if we do want to do that. All right, let's uh, populate this because that looks like a blank canvas. So let's write some stuff there. All right, let's scroll down and so the vote stuff is all cool. Actually, it's not all cool. I just realized um, this is white. So let's remove this gray, uh, this gray background. So that's easy. That should be that should be this BG gray two hundred. Remove that. All right, cool. That looks now the same as this. Perfect. Let's add this stuff. This posted by and everything. I think that's exactly the same as in the post card. So let's go to the post card again, and it should be. Yeah. Okay. This, this whole like flex item center div. Okay. Let me get to where, where is it ending? Okay. From here to here. Okay. Co copy that. And, and so after this vote div, let's create a div cause we need to give it some padding. So let's do a P dash two and tab that and paste what we copied in. But actually we need to remove these uh, links to the sub because when you're in a post, you don't see links to the sub itself. And these should be prefixed by post dot. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's destructure this stuff because it's you, there's too much repetition of post dot. So here, let's do, actually we destructure stuff here so we can copy it from here. So all of this, copy this and say const, oops, const that equals post. So there's a problem with the identifier. We declare the block scope variable. Okay, because these are passed to us uh, in the uh, query strings, so we can remove them. And of course, if we haven't redirected to the home page, that means these should be the same as the actual ones that we got from the post. So that's that's okay. And also, let's destructure the sub. So if we okay, what's the problem? Oh, again. Oh yeah, because we have this sub which is passed uh, in the URL. So that's okay. We can just use post sub. That's fine. All right, so we got these, so we should be able to get rid of uh, this and then select this uh, post dot and then do control D, control D, control D. Okay, this one, no, 
Okay, I'm just gonna delete all of them and then uh, repopulate this one. This should be post dot because that sub alone is the string that we get from the query strings. All right, save and let's take a look at it. All right, there's a problem. The source prop in an image. Oh, okay, the image, the source prop was uh, null at the beginning. Oh yeah, because this should be, actually this, I shouldn't have, have changed that because this should still be post dot sub the image URL. Okay, that, that's getting a bit confusing. So what we can do is we can just rename the sub that we get from the query strings to, I don't know, sub name, and then get to the actual sub. Oh, that's confusing. There's sub name on the post. <laughs> okay, let's just keep this as sub. There's probably a better solution to this if I would sit down and think about it, but let's just keep that as sub and then, yeah, and the image should be just post.sub.image URL. That's fine. All right, so let's remove this dot. So here, where is it? Yeah, so here this span, just remove this span and that should be fine. Cool, okay, is it the same as this? All right, yeah, that's exactly the same. So now let's put the title and the body and let's go uh, actually right here under this flex div, not inside of it because that would be in the same line. Right under it, when we're gonna say, actually make this a header one. So header one dot, and let's give it some margin on the top and bottom, so my, uh, my dash one and text dash Excel, Excel and font dash medium. Tap that and that will be the uh, title. So you can put a uh, comment here because it's becoming like less um, browsable or like hard to scroll and find what you're looking for. Comments usually help with that. So we'll say post body and here we'll say p dot my dash three dot text dash sm tap that and this will be the body and if this is null it's not going to show it so that's okay we can keep it like that save all right that looks cool now we add these action buttons which are exactly the same as the ones on the card so we can go and copy them so here actually we need to outsource this action button so let's copy this whole like uh, div div.flex and let's go here right under here we can say uh, put a comment says actions and paste that and let's uh, let's take this action button and outsource it into its own file. So here I'm going to cut it and I'm going to say um, import action button actually from the same directory. So dot slash and then uh, go here and say action button. And this axios import needs to be up. I don't know what it's doing there. <laughs> Remove this uh, fragment import. It's not needed. And let's create this action button in the same directory in the components create action button.tsx and paste that and export it as the default. So export default, actually make this a function and remove this arrow and this equals and that should be good. Save that, save this. Oops, and let's go to our post page and let's import that. So here we'll say import. So this will be from back, actually back four levels and we'll say component slash action button and this will be action button and let's go down okay there shouldn't be any errors here all right and there isn't save and let's take a look at it all right so we get comments but there's no number and there's some weird errors here so it's source property make sure to okay there's another error when i refresh so title of post is undefined oh yeah of course the post at the beginning is undefined Okay, we can't as well destructure from uh, right here. We can't do this because that is undefined. Okay, for now, let's just use post the dot. Yeah, it doesn't seem there is like a solution around it because this is uh, undefined at the beginning. So we can't destructure from something that's undefined. And I don't want to like declare the variables and then check if post then just give them values because that will be so messy and they'll be like really long. So what we can do, we can just again add to them post dot. I didn't think that through. <laughs> All right. So here, add this, this, like hold your um, alt and like click everywhere here. Oops, oh, I removed them. <laughs> so here, click at the beginning here and hold alt and click again, click here, here, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. All right, that, I think I got all of them. So add post dot and there's another red thingy here. Yeah, here as well, so post.title. And here actually we're not checking for post, we need to add a question mark, save. All right, that's uh, fixed. Uh, but yeah, we need the comments so that we can get the comment count. 
So actually we can, uh, let's go back to our post routes and here add comments, save. And now if we refresh, cool, we get the comments count, which is zero. <laughs> All right, that's it for this one. Uh, sorry for the hiccups. It's getting pretty late and my eyes are burning from staring at the screen. So yeah, I hope you understand. Uh, thanks for watching and of course make sure to like the video if you haven't and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.